My name is Steve Hoagler. I'm a DNR Fisheries Biologist stationed here in Green Bay. Today we're out spawning Great Lakes Spotted Muskie. DNR and a number of local muskie clubs since 1989 have been working together to try to re-establish Great Lakes Spotted Muskie to Green Bay. Uh, to help in that effort we are spawning fish here. Uh, we're uh, getting uh, eggs and milk from the males and females. The egg will be fertilized and then they'll be taken to our Bizadney Hatchery in Kiwani County. They'll raise the fish there until September. Uh, they'll be stocked back into the Fox River and Green Bay this fall, as fall finger blades. Uh, we need to do this uh, because as of yet we have not established self-reproducing populations on Green Bay. Uh, we have a really nice fishery out there but it's totally reliant on stocking. We're hopeful in the future with efforts like this, which are going on today, that we will reestablish the self-producing population uh, that will be here long term. We set the nets on Tuesday. My crew checked them on Wednesday, and today on Thursday we're spawning. So what we do is we set six nets called fight nets. They are attached to the shoreline. The fish follow the shoreline and then into our nets. Uh, we lift those nets every day to make sure that the muskie are doing well and that we get rid of the fish that we're not targeting. Once the fish are in the pot end of the net, we can lift that net, open it up, scoop the fish out, and then we're bringing them back here. Once the fish arrive here at Fox Point, uh, we collect biological information, which includes length, weight, and sex. We look for fin clips. We also look for pit tags. If there's not a pit tag in the fish, we will insert a new tag. It is a 15-digit number that's unique that will tie that fish to the data uh, in the future. Uh, we'll also collect a genetic sample so we're able to determine from the offspring which parents they came from so we're not spawning the same fish year after year. It's part of that effort. We're also doing a fish health screening. We want to make sure the fish that we bring back to the hatchery, or the eggs anyway, are healthy and they're not going to be carrying diseases to be passed on to the next generation. Uh, the hatchery folks are here. They're spawning the females, getting the eggs from them, collecting the milk from the males, and they mix them together. And once they have mixed, they let them sit in water for a while to water harden, and then they'll disinfect them with iodine. Once that's all complete, they'll wait an hour or so once the eggs have been fertilized, and they'll go back to the hatchery where they'll be put in spawning jars until they hatch, and then the fry are collected, put into indoor tanks, and once they become two or three inches in length, uh, they're moved into the outside ponds. Uh, once they're in the outside ponds, they'll be held and fed all summer long. They'll be feeding them lots and lots of minnows, probably two or three truckloads of minnows. And then when they're about 13 or 14 inches in length, come September, we'll sustain the fish out of the pond. We'll measure and weigh some of them, and we'll put a identifying fin clip on it that indicates that those fish were stocked as fall fingerlings. And then the cycle continues, they come back to the river in the bay, and then in four to eight or ten years, uh, those fish will be back here to spawn, and we'll spawn them and continue this process if necessary.